Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this meeting of the City Council's Committee on Health. Uh, for those of you watching on TV, you might not be able to see, we have a capacity crowd in here because of the weighty package of legislation that we'll be considering today. I'm Mark Levine, Chair of the Committee, and we are going to be voting on five pieces of legislation targeting three major policy priorities for our city, including our fight against diabetes, the move towards more dignified burials on Hart Island, and finally, two pieces of legislation regarding animals. I want to acknowledge my fellow members of the Health Committee who are with us, including Councilmember Alika Ampri Samuel, Councilmember Keith Powers, Councilmember Andy Cohen, and Councilmember Inez Barron. Unbeknownst to most New Yorkers, for the past 150 years, our city has buried its poor and marginalized in mass graves on Hart Island in the Long Island Sound between the Bronx and Queens. In a twist that can only be called Dickensian, Hart Island is under the jurisdiction of the Department of Corrections, with burials done by inmates from Rikers. This has converted Hart into a secure facility which is off limits to the public and offers extremely limited access even for families with loved ones buried there. The City Council has been engaged in a years-long battle to fix this, but turning heart into an open, by turning heart into an open, green, dignified cemetery. Today we're voting on legislation which would amount to a small but important step forward towards this goal. Intro 1580 by Councilmember Debbie Rose would require that the city conduct a public hearing on the future of burial policy on the future of burial policies on the island. And intro 1559 by Councilmember Ayala would establish an office to provide support to those family members who need burial assistance. Two weeks after we passed a landmark passage of bills protecting the welfare of farm animals, wild animals, and working animals, today we are voting to help protect our beloved pets. With intro 1496, sponsored by Councilmember Brannon, which safeguards pets when a tenant is evicted. We're also voting on intro 1598 by Councilmember Holden to ensure proper disposal of deceased animals. Lastly, we will vote on intro 1361, legislation I am proud to sponsor, which requires the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene to report on the occurrence of diabetes and diabetes-related illness uh, and to develop a plan to reduce uh, these health problems. The simple fact is, as a city, we are losing the fight against obesity and type 2 diabetes. According to DOHMH, more than half of adult New Yorkers are overweight and or obese, while almost half of elementary school children and children enrolled in Head Start are currently at an unhealthy weight. An estimated 987,000 New Yorkers have diabetes uh, without many having knowledge of their condition. Diabetes disproportionately affects high, high poverty communities, and as of 2013, Diabetes was almost 70% more common in high poverty neighborhoods than in middle income and upper income neighborhoods. African American, Hispanic, and Asian New Yorkers were twice as likely as white New Yorkers to have diabetes. While New York City has made major strides in reversing this trend by improving access to healthy food and making public spaces more amenable to physical activity, uh, we need to do much more to reverse these trends. Our bill would require DOHMH to compile a comprehensive report by December 1st, 2021 and submit recommendations and a plan to reduce the occurrence of diabetes-related health problems and to imp implement the department's recommendations. I want to again thank my fellow, fellow committee members and the sponsors of the bills and all the advocates for their work and passion regarding these various pieces of legislation. I want to acknowledge we have also been joined by fellow Health Committee member, Council Member Dr. Matthew Eugene. And I would like to ask our committee clerk, Billy Martin, to begin the roll call. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Health. All items are coupled. 
Chair Levine. I vote aye on all. Eugene. I vote aye on all, and I want to commend uh, the sponsors of the bill and also the chairman for your leadership on uh, addressing very important issues, health issues affecting so many people in New York City, especially diabetes. We know this is a very devastating disease, and people are suffering from this disease. Uh, you know, the consequences of this disease on people is uh, uh, very devastating, and we know that that affects the eyes, you know, all the system in the body. I think it, is, uh, it makes sense, and it is our moral responsibility to do everything that we can do to, wear, to, to raise awareness and to see if we can decrease the incidence and the morbidity, you know, in this area. Again, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, thank you very much uh, for your leadership, and congratulations to all the sponsors. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yujing, and I think I heard an eye on all. Uh, correct? Okay. Absolutely, eye on all. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Sorry, please continue, Bill. Baron. I vote aye on all. Cohen. Uh, permission to explain my vote? By all means. Thank you. <clears throat> I, I am going to vote aye on all, but I'm particularly pleased to be voting aye on uh, 1559A and uh, 1580. Uh, the private de burial uh, industry in New York is really, I think, very, very predatory. Uh, it, it, people do need to be aware of other options. I think this is uh, long overdue, and I'm, I'm going to sign on to both of these bills, and I'm pleased to vote aye. Excellent. Thank you, Council Member. I'm Priest Samuel. Echoing the same comments as um, Dr. Eugene related to um, diabetes, as well as um, Councilman McCohen related to um, the burial process in New York City, I am um, proud to vote aye on all. Powers. Aye on all. A vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. We, we are going to hold the vote open for a few minutes. Uh, I think we have a chance of getting a unanimous uh, vote on this. So thank you to all my colleagues for your support today.